These days we're pretty much doing everything from our phone, from taking pictures and videos, all the way up to saving our current progress from our favorite game. And hence forgetting a password can be inevitable. Unfortunately, everyone can come to the situation from time to time, and the worst part is that it can be a disaster. Hey guys, how's it going to pocket back another video? This video is going to show you how you can reset a locked iPhone. So, let's get started. Unfortunately, there is no way to remove the lock screen on your locked iPhone unless you take it to the local Apple store and explain them your issue. And during the process, there's a very high chance that you're going to have to identify as the owner of the device that you are showing them. But if you do not own the device, then unfortunately they won't remove the lock screen for you. But if you do, then still there's not going to be a guarantee that they're going to remove the lock screen for you. A very slight interrupt is that sometimes you can still back up your phone, you can still back up all your data even though your phone is locked. And that will only happen if you have unlocked your phone at least once since you switched on your phone. So for example, if you power off your phone by holding down the power button and then switch off your phone completely and then you switch it on again, you won't be able to back up your phone immediately. You're going to have to unlock it at least one after this procedure and then in order to do it. If you don't remember, at least try this method so, so in case you are able to do it. So go through iTunes and connect your device if you have it done so already and then click on this little iPhone-like icon and go on where it says backup now. And this should take some time to do and if it doesn't let you back up your phone, it says that your phone has to be unlocked in order for the backup to happen then unfortunately you won't be able to recover your data but still you'll be able to save your phone and restore it to its factory settings so you can still use your phone. Now at the moment there are two different kind of iPhones which I categorize the iPhones which have a physical home button so the home button right here in my case the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 10 series which do not have a physical button as you can see the iPhone X are here so the procedure could be slightly different but I'm going to show you how to do it on both phones. So let's start with the iPhone 6 because I am assuming most of you guys may have an iPhone with a home button. So I'm going to take this out of the way first. So first of all, take your phone with a physical button and then connect it to, um, to your computer. And then we're going to go ahead and enter recovery mode. So to do this on an iPhone with a physical button, so that means iPhone 6, S6 6, and everything before, you hold down the power button and the home button all at the same time for 10 seconds or until you see the app logo and then you release the power button and you keep holding the home button for another 7 seconds or until you see the iTunes logo with a lighting cable pointing to it. So once ready, let's go ahead, so 3, 2, 1, go, hold both of the buttons. release the power button and then keep holding the home button and there we go you get the iTunes logo with a lightning cable pointing to it so now I'm gonna go on my computer and show you exactly what you do alright guys so in my case I'm using a Mac computer but if you have Windows then go ahead and download iTunes from a link I have down in the description it's completely free and the procedure is going to be exactly the same I immediately got this message from iTunes but if you haven't then I'm going to show you what to do, so you open iTunes, go ahead and launch iTunes and you're probably going to get something like this. And now because there are other people who may be using an iPhone 10, I'm going to go ahead and quickly show you how you can enter recovery mode by using an iPhone 10. Alright guys, with an iPhone 10 it's a whole different story. You need to plug in your iPhone first with your computer, so let's do it right now. So connect your iPhone to your computer and then you press on the volume up button, volume down button and then you hold down the power button until you see the recovery screen on your phone. You know, the little iTunes logo with the lighting cable pointing at it. So let's go through it together. So press on the volume up, volume down, and then hold down the power button until you see the recovery screen. Keep holding. Keep holding. There you go. So iTunes logo, Latin cable pointing to it. So now the next step is to go on my computer and show you what to do next. 
All right, guys, so having iTunes open already, I'm having this message again with two options, either restore or update. If you don't get this message, then quit iTunes, unplug your phone, plug your phone and open iTunes again, and you should get this message right here. So unfortunately, if you press on restore, iTunes will also restore your phone and update it to its latest uh, iOS version. Well, if you press on the update, it's just going to update your phone to its latest version without resetting your phone. So let's go ahead and press restore. And then you're going to get this message here saying restore and update. So select that. Then go and follow the instructions. And right now, as you can see, iTunes is downloading the latest iOS firmware for this iPhone. And I'm going to be back as soon as this process is done. All right. So as you can see, there is a loading line right below the app logo. So that means that the iPhone is being restored and updated to its latest version. So again, you're going to have to wait until this is finished. Okay, guys. So now the iPhone is fully restored. And as you see, we are back on the hello screen and, you know, setting up our phone from the beginning. So let's go ahead and set up the phone. And I'm going to use English as a main language. Okay, so here we are. So if you manage to do a backup in the beginning of this video, then it's time to go ahead and restore the backup on your phone. So what will you do is to select restore from iTunes backup. That also applies if you had a previous backup of your phone, then still select restore from iTunes backup. And now if you didn't manage to do the backup, then go then select don't transfer apps and data. And now in case you have a backup already, I'm gonna show you how to restore your backup on your iPhone. All right, guys, so back with using iTunes and you should have your device connected to your computer. So iTunes should pop up just like that. And you should have a continue button right here. So click on that. And then here you have two options, either set up a new phone or restore from backup. So in our case, I'm going to show you how you can restore from a previous back backup that you have done from your phone or if you manage to do the backup from the beginning of this video. So in your case, you should select the latest backup that you have or you can go and choose this pop-up window and then select any other backups that you have and then continue and now your iPhone is going to be restored again with your backup and I'm going to be back as soon as this is done okay guys so now the restoration process has been completed so let's swipe up to see what we have to do next so okay so right now the iPhone will upgrade to its latest version so I'm going to be back as soon as it's done again all right, guys, back with the hello screen. So now there are very few stuff that we need to finish off doing, you know, you know, classic stuff, setting up Apple ID, Face ID, setting, setting up Siri. And now you're ready to use your iPhone. So if you had a backup done already, then you should see all the apps being downloaded on your iPhone. But if not, then your iPhone should be fresh, exactly like you took it out of the box. And then you're pretty much done. So now you can start using your iPhone again. And few tips to prevent your iPhone from being locked. It's very important, very crucial to set up your Touch ID and your Face ID because if you don't remember your password, at least to use your Face ID and not switch off your phone. So if you don't remember your password but you know your Face ID and Touch ID, then go ahead and back up your phone with iTunes exactly as we did right now and then reset your phone so you can set up your new password from scratch again. And please keep in mind that iTunes backup doesn't backup messages and phones and stuff like that. So if you go on your messages right now, it should be empty just like that. So please keep that in mind. And that's pretty much everything about this video. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to let me down in the description your thoughts of this video and whether I managed to help you or not. And furthermore, don't forget to share this video to your friends if they are also experiencing a very similar issue or maybe just give them a pre-warning of what will happen if you forget the password and, you know, and stuff like that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell right next to it in order to receive updates for every video we upload. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you in my next video.